the body starts to bear witness against every wrong thing that we have done, saying, oh my Lord, I had to obey the mind. I couldn't resist the mind. I did things by its will. Our tongue will bear witness things we said we shouldn't have been saying. Our eyes will bear witness places we looked at we shouldn't have been looking. Our ears will bear witness of things that we listened to we shouldn't have been listening to. Our hands will bear witness to things that we touched we shouldn't have been touching. Our feet will bear witness to places that we went that we shouldn't have been. Regret is no longer being in existence. Being taken out of existence. Humiliation. You don't think it's humiliating for the police to come to your house, knock your door down, handcuff you, put you in a squad car, take you and lock you up for the rest of your life? You can't do anything. You have family, you have friends, you have loved ones. Because of bad choices and bad influences and listening to our physical desires and not listening to those who are leading us and guiding us to our Lord, our higher desires. There are similitudes. Nothing moves without Allah Almighty's permission. There's nothing that happens that Allah Almighty does not give it justice. From the smallest to the highest. Oh my Lord, what did I do? What happened? Why is this happening to me? Then we reflect. It may have been two or three years ago. And you say, why am I being punished for that now? But Allah's mercy gave us that time to make it right. We look at it in a wrong way. Why am I getting it now? I've been doing all the things good. But you never repented to your Lord. You just went about, didn't nobody know it, didn't nobody see it. So we think, if you know it, somebody know it. And we have to carry that. And our bodies bear witness. Yeah, he was guilty. Yeah, she was guilty. This is what they did. Blah, blah. What? Yeah, they was doing all kinds of stuff, saying all kinds of, listening to all kinds of stuff. I couldn't resist my command because I was under its command. Mm. See, we are the judges of ourselves. Allah does not judge us. The prophets do not judge us. No one judges us but us. That is justice. Because we're with ourselves every second that we're with ourselves. And that's why we also have shadows. Shadows also bear witness against us. Who can say they're not without a shadow? You don't know what's going to bust you out. Allah has put everything in motion for us to reach to the high life. There's nowhere where eyes are not on us. There's nothing that we do that's not being seen what we're doing. But why is it that we forget about that? You see it. You know it. That's why we feel guilty. That's why we feel shame. That's why Adam and Eve, they cover themselves a lot. Why are you covering yourselves up? Because we're ashamed. Ashamed of what? Well, I feel I shouldn't have... Uh, uh, uh. What? Law says there's no water closet, closets here. Now, 
you have to do the dirty in the dunya. Low life. This is the dirtiest life. This is the dirtiest of exist these of levels. This is the lowest of levels. There is no feces in paradise. There are no corpses in paradise. There's no death in paradise. Every dirty thing is here in the low life. But it doesn't have to be a low life. Because there were prophets that came. Yes, they were in the low life, but they were in the high life. Their physical bodies were in the low life, but their hearts and their souls were with their Lord in the high life. And they came to remind us that we are from the high life. And don't get hung up in the low life. But we say, you know, no, I don't say nothing to me. This is my body and I know my heart. That's why he sends guidance to us, because he knows our heart. He knows us. Guidance means something. When we're not listening to what we should be listening to in ourselves, Allah warns us with guides. They are warners. You ain't my guide. You can't tell me nothing. Allah says, you're not to dispose of anyone's affairs. He told the prophet, leave them. Then when the chastisement came on there, they said, what did I do? What didn't you do? You were disrespectful. You showed bad manners. You showed an anger that was not halal, was not lawful anger. Anger is a fire. Anger is only for Allah Almighty. The powers that we have are tests. When we become angry, it's a fire that burns. It's a fire. It burns up your iman. When your iman is burned up, you begin to show a disrespect to guidance. You start to show bad manners. Then calamities come on you from where you can't even imagine. Pow! Right in the kiss. What happened? What, what did I do? Why Allah do this to me? We do it to ourselves. Still don't have it. We still don't get it. We still don't get it. A person who is going for, out for the Olympics, there's a training regiment that they have to continue on if they're going to be able to compete at a very, very high level. They cannot do all the things that everybody is doing that's not training to get to the Olympics. They cannot be staying out all night long. They cannot be getting high. They cannot be chasing wine women in song or wine men in song. They cannot be defiling their bodies. They have to keep a regimen of discipline and patience while they train every day. Then they, when they rest, it's an enjoyment to rest because their bodies are tired. They don't have the same kind of pleasures that we have. Their pleasures are earned pleasures from doing what is best for themselves. They are living the high life and achieving what they are pursuing. And Allah grants it to them. Our desires from being lazy, just doing anything and nothing, we become confused. We don't have any direction. So when someone gives us guidance, it means nothing because we're not going anywhere. And we call ourselves Muslims. We call ourselves Jews or Christians. We're just a bunch of fools. Playing a role. Playing Muslim. Imitation faith. So when calamities come on us, we don't know. We just break down. We just fall out. Oh, I can't handle it. What happened? What happened? I'm a good person. We never get it. We never get it. Allah gets our attention through these trials and tribulations. Let you know that was a warning. Reflect and don't do that again. 
If you do, it's going to be worse next time.